Backroom, very quick ad break. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. And we're rolling into this Wednesday. Speaking of keeping things rolling on downstairs, Graham is standing by with our car guy, Chiro, to check out one of the hottest rides on South African roads. But being Chiro is something of a, I think, that every guy can be jealous about because this past week, he got to ride around and explore the Cape Winelands in one of the sweetest rides I have ever, ever seen. Take a look at this. Introducing a new wanderer between automotive worlds, Mercedes-Benz reinterpreted the compact SUV segment in convincing style. Tiro de Siena put it through its paces. Hello and welcome to Mercedes-Benz's latest baby, the GLA. The GLA class is the fourth new compact model from Mercedes-Benz. Tiro ventured outside the mother city to the Poorland to explore its exciting features. I'm in the GLA. 220 CDI 4MATIC, which means it has all-wheel drive. It's got 125 kilowatts and 350 newton meters. It's a lovely torquey motor, but even so, it only uses about five liters to the hundred. That's very good. All the engines have the eco stop-start function and drive through a six-speed manual transmission or a 7G DCT dual-clutch auto. This car is very comfortable over the rough stuff. While the GLA is based on the A-Class, it does offer much more ride height. So when you're out here in the wild, you've got a bit more confidence. And of course, a higher ride height means a more commanding view when you're in the traffic. It lightfootedly masters all day-to-day -day challenges and is also robust enough for off-road excursions. In fact, I think whether you're in the urban jungle or out here in the Winelands, this is one of the best looking cars in the segment. Sensual purity is an expression of modern luxury. This was the focus for the designers and is the design philosophy of Mercedes-Benz. And then of course there is the price. At 489,000 Rand, this is a bit steep, but it looks and feels like a quality product. And although it's a compact Merc, it does mean it's easier to hustle around the city. Right now, in this sort of segment, this is a very exciting new contender. The tagline of this exciting crossover range is always restless. And Chiro found it can hold its own in its class and then some. The good thing is, the GLA still offers really big boot, which translates into a lot of wine. And then for really big things, you can fold these rear seats flat. One and two. And you come. Now that's one way to fill the more than 800 liters of space. Every version of the GLA also comes with air conditioning, automatic headlights, and more. A perfect choice for the South African lifestyle, believes Miles Bunner. Miles, we're here with the new GLA, a beautiful addition to the Mercedes lineup. Do you see this car attracting new buyers to your brand? The target audience really for the GLA is one who seeks adventure, goes out seeking an adrenaline rush, and we're also seeing that a good take up from young families also who require the space. Right now all we have are the diesels, but when do the petrols arrive and of course the very special GLA 45 AMG? The petrol versions will come in now in September as well as the GLA 45 formatic AMG. Um, we're really looking forward to um, launching those models. We believe that it's going to have, um, it's already caused quite a stir. Customers have been asking for, especially the GLA 45. Um, so we're looking forward to bringing that in September. With all-wheel drive, a luxurious cabin and powerful fuel-sipping engines, this new baby Mercedes could be a handsome companion for your everyday motoring needs. Maybe the A in GLA stands for adventure. Uh, as the saying goes, everyone's a gangster until a real gangster walks into the room. Chiro, what have Hello. you brought us this yes. morning, sir? What is this beautiful piece of automotive genius next a, to us? A gangster or a CEO of a big oil company, because <laughs> both of them actually really In like the far east. this car. <laughs> yeah, this is the new Mercedes S-Class. Now, sometimes I bring cars in the studio, sometimes I bring 4x4s, but very rarely I get to bring a spaceship to the Expresso <laughs> studio, but here it is, a real-life German spaceship. I could spend half an hour telling you guys about the technology that this packed In fact, we have spent car. the last half an hour looking at the technology <laughs> inside you. I think we could spend a whole day. It yes. is a beautiful 
styled piece of machine. It is, it's very elegant. I think they've done an incredible job with the styling. Not only that, but the engines as well. So for just 1,273,491 of your hard-earned rands, you can have the entry-level Mercedes S-Class. But the nice thing is that this S350 Bluetech comes with pretty much all of the kit you get in every other S-Class. And uh, I wanted to start off with this. Uh, this is the stereoscopic camera. Now that controls something called magic body control. It actually scans the road ahead, looks for imperfections ah. in the road, and then sets up the suspension before you get there. It's like the chicken head ad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The You've chicken, seen the chicken yeah. thing. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's, let's get inside, inside because <laughs> this is where this car's party piece, well, party pieces really, wow. really begin. All right, so as you can see, the interior is completely different to anything you would have seen before. It's just two huge screens taking up the dash, and then this is where you play with all the vehicle settings, and look at that, so you can switch on all My different word. functions. It's really pretty, isn't it? So and then, for, for the discerning motorist, without yes. a doubt. Yes, and then my favorite, right? Um, can I interest you in a massage, Graham? Please. Not from me, obviously, from, <laughs> from the car. Would you like a mobilizing massage? I, I would, it's, it's early in the day. How I've about a, a classic? Strong. Okay, mobilizing. Go Let's for go a mobilizing. mobilizing. Let's should, I, should I turn the intensity uh, down? <laughs> Please, rich people do not like to have <laughs> stiff necks and backs. What I do love is the, the only dated piece here is yes, this beautiful a traditional piece. I love that. Yeah. That I, is very cool. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this, but um, this is very James Bond. Look at that. That's oh. a, a keypad hiding there under that leather cowl. Very, very cool. And then um, on the doors, right? So this is where you control everything. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get that. Maybe you get it over my shoulder. But this is where you control your seating position. I like and the everything. easy to understand shape. Yeah, it's and in the shape of the seat. Of the chair. That and is then crazy. your seat is cooled and heated, obviously. But oh, the man. thing is, normally well, a lot of luxury cars have toys in the front, but there are so many toys in the back. So I think we have to get in this, there. This was designed for a chauffeur driven setup, yeah. undoubtedly. Because a lot of the times, the luxury cars sort of forget about the back seats, and that's not really good, is it? Because if you've spent 1.3 million rand on a car, chances are you might actually be spending most of your time in the back seat. <laughs> on your way to a meeting. So this folds down. Let's you've got drink holders there. over there. You've got your, your own screen with your own headphones, with your own remote control <laughs> for you to play Please with. Please don't touch my <laughs> remote. Okay, you've got to have your own remote. I mean, it's just That's crazy. The, the rear seats are heated and, and cooled as well. And then they're also adjustable, so you can recline. <laughs> this really is, I think this is probably the most luxurious car that you have brought in. Yeah, I, I think this see. nails it. For me, Mercedes-Benz have nailed the interior of this car. Um, I have to ask, Lars, you know, I'm yes. just picturing this incredibly wealthy person, you know, counting out the one rand that they need to complete the prices. What do they get in terms of speed and performance out of this vehicle? Okay, so under the bonnet of this car is a three-liter V6 turbo diesel, and it is so quiet, you probably wouldn't even know that it was a turbo diesel unless someone actually told you and the incredible thing about it is even though it's got more torque than a Range Rover Sport V8 <laughs> it still has a claimed fuel consumption of 5.9 liters to the 100 uh, my car is averaging 8.3 which in the real world is seriously impressive 8.3 liters to the 100 especially for something for a like spaceship. this <laughs> yeah this, this you really have blown my mind it, it takes a lot to leave me speechless and this really has ah, to our envy you driving home this morning brother <laughs> it's a real privilege awesome stuff where, where can we continue the conversation ask our questions Explore cool. the world of Chiro. <laughs> Get hold of me on Twitter at Chiro DS. Oh, lovely stuff. Well, we're going to marvel over this beautiful piece of automotive genius. As I said earlier, Leanne is standing by with your Express News.